morning. The sun is shining. Woo! Woo! At last, a nice weekend. And what did you yeah. just say? Row is to the left of me, Joe is to the right. Yeah, stuck <laughs> in the middle here. <laughs> so we've um, got our new composting separator toilet. <laughs> Used it for a wee wee yesterday for the first time. Too much information. Well, I'd say wee wee, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late now, isn't it? <laughs> After what the others say. <laughs> so, um, Richard was scared. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you were scared. Yeah, it's like weeing in Tupperware. <laughs> he said you can hear it going into the pot. <laughs> we, um, we haven't been brave enough to um, do the other yet, though. Oh. <laughs> so it is, it is really good, though, because it looks like a toilet. We have a luxury boat. We, yeah, we have the luxury version because it's actually got a toilet oh, no. seat on it. I meant we've got a luxury boat, you know, we have to... Pee in a pot. And go in Catlia. <laughs> the wee wee, you can just sort of pour by a tree or you know in the bushes in the middle of a field in the middle of a field as long as it's not fruit or a tree that you eat stuff from okay apparently so um the other then uh, <laughs> <laughs> comes with a composting bags so you can use um sort of like cat litter like the wooden pellets like sort of compostable pellets or sawdust or i suppose you could use hay Oh. <laughs> and oh. then um, oh, no. once you've done your business you then just put a scoop of that on top um, and then you tie up the bag and there are some dedicated composters that then have a hot bin and compost it all down and I don't think we're quite to <laughs> that point just yet. I'll we'll have um, to look for an allotment of freight in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was um, joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, if not, you can put like a normal bag and tie it up, I guess like you would, like with dog poo and dispose of it in a bin. So, yes, it's going well at the moment. <laughs> We are obviously out again, off on a little trip today, and um, hopefully we're going to explore um, a big barge. Yeah. We'll tell you some more about it later. Pumped up the little boat. Yeah, got, yeah, got little boat back on the roof. Back on the roof, yeah. Yay. Summer's here. <laughs> well, yeah, early. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be quite so nice next week, so we're going to take advantage of it today. in the first lock. Summer's here! You can tell, yeah. <laughs> Spring or summer is in the air. Oh! And yeah. the water bottle's fallen off. <laughs> Cheers. Um, so we went past um, a bankside delivery truck, I guess. They were yeah. loading bags of sand onto a little sand. barge boat. Cement, something like it. So they're obviously having some building work done or something. It's and, obviously one of the homes where you have to get to it by boat. Probably the one down on the end. Yeah. And uh, ten and a half. Ten and a half of sound was it? Wow. So uh, we had to wait for them and then the narrow boat came along and we think perhaps uh, it was a higher boat because <laughs> they were having a few issues shall we say. Oh, that's great. Lock keeper jumped on their boat tried to help them and then it was getting further and further away. He almost didn't make it back from onto the, the side. side. So awesome. yeah, you can tell the sun comes out, the weather's better. And the and loonies are on the river. All hell breaks loose. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> so we just had to haul our big beast up the lock landing. We uh, arrived at the lock landing and I think the uh, lock keeper needed to fill the lock um, 
and then we saw the crazy narrow boat coming up behind us so uh, pulled it along it's uh, quite hefty to start off with but once once she gets going it's not too bad So we've moored up at Hampton Court and come out on the little boat to have a look in a bit greater detail at a Univ barge, I think they're called. Mm -hmm. Univ being short for university. So we've seen this barge before and we've seen another one, haven't we? Um, we we forgot about the other one. The other one's up near Oxford. Yeah. Um, and just thought, oh wow, look at that boat, looks a bit sort of pirate shipy. <laughs> pirate ship, without a mast. And then, um, yeah, since found out that basically, um, sort of rowing became popular in the 1700s at the universities, um, I think Oxford and Cambridge, yeah. mainly. Oop, sorry, we're bashing against the side, that's why we're bobbling everywhere. And um, yeah, basically they had these barges commissioned for spectators. So the audience used to watch from um, the upper deck and you said as well that the rowers used to get changed, get didn't changed you? Get changed in the lower decks. In the lower decks. The lower decks. Yeah, like a club room, yeah. changing rooms. So, really old. Yeah, really, really old. Um, I think, oh, are they 1800 and something? Yeah, 1837 or something. Yeah. Some Built. So um, yeah, this, still this, about. this barge has been sat here, we've gone past it I don't know how many times. We thought it was a converted party boat. We did, and I think, I'm sure <laughs> even in some of our, one of our earlier videos, we did maybe take a little bit of footage of it, but we, yeah, we didn't know what it is, so yeah. you learn something new every day. Let's go and have a little explore. Rather windy today. Yeah, so we're coming up to it now. Oh, sorry, it's very bumpy. I don't have a gimbal. That'll have to be my next purchase. And um, yeah, so this on the outside is literally how it would have been back in the day. I mean, it's just magnificent, absolutely amazing. They don't have um, engines in them. They would have been towed to the location where the race was going to take place. So it's literally just a, a floating houseboat now. Um, apparently this one has been converted um, into a floating home. Yeah. Imagine living on that. It'd be great It'd be upstairs, amazing. wouldn't it, with the barbecue yeah. going? Yeah, look. look You've got to be a bit careful because it's all wood, apparently. Some parties on that. Apart from the bottom end. This. Brilliant, isn't it? There you go. One of the Univ barges. The little windows. and um, doing a bit of filming. We found a bit of driftwood. Yeah, so, it would um, be well cool. Yeah, we are going to... Obviously, now you know that crafting is obviously my thing. <laughs> We're gonna, not, I'm not letting you... You haven't got to craft no, out the... No. No? So you destroy it. You're making I can something imagine evil. This piece of driftwood, we'll have to dry it out because obviously it was drifting in the river. Find us keepers and all of that. Dry it out. And then we could make some little sort of tea light sized holes in it. So far into the boat. Be a tea light holder. Oh, we might better, yeah. Yeah. I think it wasn't so stupid. Yeah, but. <laughs> because you do know, due to popular demand from one person. <laughs> one. <laughs> you I've know now, who you are. Now opened a red bubble store. <laughs> 
So, you know, you can purchase my crafting items. Well, yeah, one of them is, I suppose, crafting. My uh, evil squirrel. You can have him on a T-shirt. You can have him on a face mask. My evil squirrel is everywhere. You can have a framed print of my evil squirrel. I know. And that is so exciting. <laughs> You're beside yourselves, I know. There is actually also stuff with our logo on, which is a little bit more sensible. And, uh, oh, risk it for a biscuit. Obviously, our favourite saying, um, you can have items with risk it for a biscuit on. I know. Don't get too excited. No, we don't, are. Honestly. <laughs> Little Boat Adventures, I'm showing you the big barge that's now a floating houseboat. Yeah. We uh, experienced a standoff between <laughs> a massive, like, day barge um, and huge. a white boat. It's got to be 80 foot, isn't it? It was a big barge, massive. yeah. Massive. I think I captured some footage. Um, the barge was going to the lock landing and the white boat sort of got in its way yeah and it just was... undercut him and moored up and they stood on the front shouting at him and all sorts of shouting and hollering they were just ignoring what's going on went for a little trip down the river ember which just cuts off of the thames opposite hampton court and yeah don't go down there don't go down there well go down there it's just all right but oh, well, don't, don't take your big boat oh there. no 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 don't oh, take your white beam no. down there no <laughs> um <laughs> still sunken boat down there that's where we filmed some uh, little short video and i think there were five sunken boats so we've seen two sunken boats in a short stretch again today yeah so there you go so hopefully you enjoy today's video the sun is shining it's like a summer's day today and you can tell the river is packed yeah people all, everywhere people all the boats are out paddle walking. boards it's cold water chilly, swimming I oh, know, nuts. The river is still cold though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And the breeze when you go down the river is a bit chilly. A bit chilly on, on the little boat, yeah. yeah. It's lovely here though. So don't forget <laughs> to subscribe and give us a cheeky little like. And if I was you, I would hit that notification bell <laughs> because after finding that driftwood, you're going to want to know what I'm going to do with it. Oh, no, it's a bit crafty time. <laughs> It's more crafting. Yeah. I know, I know. You're asking for it now. Oh, God. <laughs> See yeah. what I come up with? It's going to be fab. <laughs> It'll be something. I'm the only one that has confidence in me. Yeah. Oh, and I'll one other person, obviously. One, yeah, just one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.